see as your, your biggest challenges to achieving those goals? Because those are lofty goals. I, I don't even know where to start. Uh, there are a million challenges. And I think some of uh, our early potential customers are making very clear to us the roadblocks that we're going to face trying to bring this thing to market and trying to educate folks on what it means to leverage technology in a meaningful way to improve the way you deliver legal services. I think if I were to isolate uh, the three main challenges we're going to face, I think number one is we are, as a company, operating at the nexus of two very distinct markets, right? You've got the legal market, uh, where longevity and legacy is its own currency. It's important to be trusted and well-known. And then you've got the, the tech industry, where newness and innovation is what's popping. That's where to be, right? So the question is, how do we balance those two objectives and where do we fit? How do we ensure that our brand inspires a level of trust requisite to be successful and legal, while also being on the cutting edge of uh, innovation, being relevant in tech? And that's very difficult, and that's going to be a constant calibration. I think the second thing is related to the third thing is adoption. Uh, I tell folks whenever I'm describing the business we do that our, our the problem we're solving for, our calling, our mission is not about innovation. There are people much smarter than me who are true technologists who are out there creating wonderful tools that will never see the light of day. No one will ever use them. No one will ever buy them. Thus, they are useless, right? The problem we're solving for is adoption. Adoption is what changes the world. Adoption is what changes the way legacy industries do what they do. And that's the problem we're solving for. So adoption, getting law firms to buy in to this vision, getting law firms to use these tools to improve the way they do work, getting people used to it such that they never go back to where we are now. So that's the second problem. And related to that, that second problem of adoption is maintaining our commitment to listening listening to our customer, listening to the people who use the tools we're building, right? So our product is a fusion of two things. It's this fundamental empathic connection we have with our users. Why? Because we are our users. Up until two months ago, I was a frustrated junior M&A associate at a big firm wondering, my God, is this, is this what practicing law is? Is it worth it? Is the prestige worth this stress? Is it worth always feeling like there's a massive gap between what I'm doing and what's expected of me? I don't know, I don't think so, right? So that understanding of how stressful it can be to try to fulfill your client's greatest needs in their greatest time of need um, is what leads us to create a product that speaks to that anxiety, right? It speaks to that difficulty. Um, so maintaining that commitment to understanding that our success is dependent upon connecting with our user and creating a product that fulfills their need. Making shit people want. That's our job. Tenji, what does success look like for Deal With? Our head of engineering, Ian Hahn, uh, always tells me um, that in the software business, you are never finished. All right? It's an iterative process. It's a conversation with your customer, an ongoing conversation with your customer. There is no success, right? Uh, because you always live to fight another day. There's another conversation to have with your customer. There's an improvement you can make on the product. Um, so in, in that context, we'll never be successful because we'll always be chasing a moving goalpost. However, um, I think I'll, I'll finally try to catch a couple hours of sleep. I'll feel a little bit satisfied um, when it can be said of our company, when it can be said a deal with. A um, hundred years from now, that we were one of the companies responsible for shepherding the legal industry into the data-enhanced 21st century of corporate legal service delivery. Uh, entrepreneurship uh, suits you very well, Tanji. <laughs> thank you. And I want to thank you for taking the time to talk about your journey and um, the exciting things that are going to be happening with Deal With. Thanks, Randy. It's been a true pleasure. Um, and I want to say, take the time to thank you uh, for what's been a wonderful interview and for being a wonderful friend and mentor and career coach to me uh, throughout my career up until this point. I don't think with, without you, I'm not sure where I'd be. Uh, so I, I also congratulate you on being a, an entrepreneur in your own right. Uh, 
with your business at Major Lindsay in Africa. Uh, you guys do a wonderful job, and you do a wonderful job personally. So thank you. Thank you, Tanji. Thank you.